Hello and welcome to Crafting with Ty and Friends Backdrop and Banner class. Prior to this class, you should already know how to locate your PNG images and to download fonts to use them in Publisher. So let's get started. What we're going to do is open up a blank document, a new blank document. It doesn't matter if it's portrait or landscaped because you will be changing that. The first thing you want to do is Go to page design on your toolbar setting and you want to change your page setup. So this is where the feet to inches um, chart comes in that was uh, in, located inside the folder when you purchased this class. So you want to go to size, page design, size and go down to page setup. Now what we're going to do is remove our margins. So we're going to go to zero, zero out the margins. And then we're going to change the width and height. So today I'm going to create a four by six backdrop. So I want my height to be 48 inches, which is four feet. And I want my height to be 72 inches, which is six feet. And then we're going to go OK. Now, once you change your page setup, you want to save it. And you want to save it as a four by six or whatever size you're completing backdrop template. That way you always have a template for that size to go back and to create. So you don't have to do the page design setup every time you want to create this size backdrop. So I already have my 4 by 6 backdrop template saved. So I won't be resaving. So you'll just type in 4 by 6 backdrop template and save wherever you want it to be saved out on your computer. So once you save it, you're going to come back and this should be changed up here. It should four by six. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and make mine say that. Six backdrop template. So once you saved it, you want to go back and then you want to insert your pictures and you insert your pictures the same exact way that you will insert any other template you're designing, chip bag, Rice Krispie Treats, Airhead, etc. So once you start doing that, you want to just design your backdrop um, the way you want it to be. Insert your words. So once you get your backdrop designed exactly how you want it, you want to make sure that you save it and you want to change the name so you don't save over your master copy template. So once you get your photos in and you lay them and you want them to be, which I already have a, a backdrop created. You just want to layer all your photos wherever you want them to be. So I already have my four by six backdrop created. So once you create your backdrop, however you want it to be, you want to go to file. And you want to save as, locate where you want to save your backdrop to, and then you want to change the name. So I take out the template part of the name and then just insert whatever design I'm designing. So how I have a luau backdrop. So if it was for a person, I would put like Cynthia's luau backdrop, and then I'll click save. So now you have your master copy luau backdrop so anytime you need to make any changes or if you wanted to make this same luau backdrop for another customer you would just find your uh, luau backdrop publisher file open it up insert word art or draw text box however you insert your text 
um, add their name. Now you have created their file from another person's file, Easy Fast Money. So once you create your backdrop, what you want to do is save it as a PDF file. And the reason you're saving it as a PDF file is to make sure that once the customer gets it or the person that's printing out your backdrop, they cannot make any changes and come back and say it didn't print right because you know that what you see on your screen, this is exactly how it's going to print. So you want to file, save as, same name, just change the save as type to a PDF file. So once you have your PDF file, you're ready to send it to a customer, you're ready to get it printed. You're ready to, whatever you're going to do with this file, you're ready to use it. So what you want to do is use, what I use to get my backdrop printed is banners.com. That's S-T-I-C-K-E-R-S-B-A-N-N-E-R-S.com. They have been the cheapest that i found. They're, if a customer is needing their backdrops fast, um, I always drop ship with stickerbanner.com. And what I do is I just leave a note in the note section asking them to mail it to this address and to not include the um, shipping invoice. Good with that. I um, Once they send me the proof emailed for me to verify the proof, I, I uh, make sure that I verify that they have gotten the address that I want to drop ship the temp, I mean the backdrop to, you know, just to cover my trails. So once you place your order with them, They'll send you an email for you to verify the proof. They're pretty quick. So within two hours, check your email to see if they, once you see the proof, you send them an email saying, yes, go ahead, print. They send you a Zoom picture also of the proof. Sometimes they tell you it's a bit scaly or, you know, um, you know blurry. I still say yes and get it printed. I never had anything printing bad. Um shipping for a price I never use it because they they're pretty quick if you are located in any area that they have their facilities you can actually go and pick up your uh, backdrop once it's printed but here are their prices on your custom vinyl backdrops 149 a square foot I have never found it under this price they have different ones, so you can go and look around. So you can offer your customers so much more vinyl decals on your windows, banners.com. So now let me show you guys how to make a mock-up. Design created, ready to go. What you want to do and group it together. So what I do is click and drag. So I click and I drag across the whole thing. Then I want to group over here in the toolbar. It should say group. So you want to group it together. Then you want to right click and copy. Once it let me do that, <laughs> and you want to copy. So then you want to open up a whole new document. So you want to open up a new blank page. Again, it doesn't matter which way you open it. And then you want to pull in that mock up banner. Um, picture that it was included in your folder for this class so you will insert picture and then you'll insert that picture so what we do is insert picture you locate your Mac mock-up Banner photo. So you want to insert it. You want to um, remove your margins again. So you're going to go to page design, margins, and you're going to go to none. So what you can do is uh, enlarge this. It's your choice. You can enlarge. The picture, I mean the page also. But what you're going to do is 
right click and you're going to paste that backdrop you just made in here and then you're going to go to format and you want to decrease the size so i'm just going to make it 12 by 12. some things might look a little blurry because you know your you have your outline set so big since you made your mac your uh your backdrop so what you want to do is size it so it fits properly over your backdrop mock-up and what I'm going to do is ungroup and then I'm going to change my width of my outline on the Cynthia so I can see what it says since we decreased it and I'm going to change my outline here also since we decreased the size and just move anything you know smaller if need be I'm gonna Move this out the way for a second. Ah. All right, I'm gonna group this back together and move this back here. And what you want to do is once you get it set up on the backdrop, what you're gonna do is save it as your luau backdrop or whatever name you want to create mock-up so then you'll have a publisher mock-up copy of this so you can make any changes to it for new customers for new customers to see what their backdrop is going to be so you're going to file save as i'm going to browse and I go here. I'm just gonna go to Luau Mark up back drop. And we're gonna save. And then now you want to include your um your watermark. So what you're gonna do is put insert your picture and locate your watermark if you have one created already. If not, you can just insert writing. So I usually just use a, a picture that I save with writing. So I have this picture and it's basically just writing. And what I do is insert it and then I'll go to recolor, set transparent color. I'll remove that background. I'm going to resize it, you know, move it around. Then I'm going to right click, format picture, and then my transparency I'm going to set to between 70 and 80, you know, just play around to this lighter or dark how you want it and there I have my watermark set um, I'm going to show you how to do one with just writing words so you'll get your words and you'll write big heads oops sorry unique that's not right but you guys get it okay so I'll write it in change you know the black and then I'll just right click format word art and I'll just change this transparency and then it'll just dark lighting my words up and now I have a watermark so once you get your picture watermark you want to go to file and you want to save as so you want to save it as a PNG image or a JPEG image so you can share it on social media sites um, email them the photo I save all of them as a PNG image. It doesn't matter if you use PNG or JPEG. So once you save it as a PNG image, you're able to bring it in and share it online, social media, your Etsy shops, wherever you want to have it set up to sell. That's pretty much everything to do with backdrops so thanks for taking this course if you have any questions feel free to email message me anytime no question is too stupid um yeah so thanks for taking this class happy crafting
said, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop talking to me.